Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and I'm here with Intel taking a look at some of their newest uh, mini computers. And when I say newest, these actually look pretty familiar because the, uh, the form factor hasn't changed very much, but some of the processors have. So on top here, what we're looking at is the new uh, sort of codenamed um, June Canyon device, which is just now starting to ship, should be available for purchase soon for probably between about $150 and $250, depending on the version. It has uh, Celeron and Pentium uh, Gemini Lake processors, and uh, again, if it looks familiar, that's because it's pretty much the same form factor as we saw with the Apollo Lake version. You're going to get maybe about a 10% performance boost, you're going to have a little bit more graphics uh, power, and it can handle a 4K display. It's, uh, it's a small machine. Uh, this is sort of the taller version. You can see there's also uh, smaller versions down here, and I think that's uh, because you can fit a 2.5 inch hard drive in the taller versions, only solid state storage in the smaller ones. Also new uh, at the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, is something called Dawson Canyon, which is basically an NUC or Nook uh, computer designed for enterprise users. This model has a KB Lake or Cabby Lake, I always pronounce that wrong, processor, let's just call it 7th generation Intel Core. Um, basically what you're doing is you're taking sort of the, uh, the high-end laptop 7th generation chips and putting them into um, into a smaller form factor here for desktop computers. This version is supports Intel V Pro and sort of enterprise uh, usage. It's going to be available later this year in an updated version with 8th generation core. And again, we're looking uh, then here at the uh, 7th generation uh, commercial version and I'm forgetting, was that? Consumer, Consumer version. And um, commercially available. You can buy it from a commercial retailer. Uh, so we're going to call this a consumer version. And the code name for this one, remind me, is... Well, this is Baby Canyon. This is Baby Canyon. Uh, and it's going to be replaced by Bean Canyon later this year. Yep. The reason uh, uh, Bean is the code name is because it's going to support a Coffee Lake processor. So whereas a lot of uh, sort of the low power 8th generation chips uh, that you see in laptops are the lower end uh, Cavi Lake refresh, this is going to be full Coffee Lake desktop class processor, a little bit higher power, higher performance, but still in pretty much the same form factors. These little um, sort of four and a half by four and a half inch square computers with plenty of input and output the ability to drive 4K displays, multiple displays, and so forth. So that's it for sort of the general purpose uh, Nook computers. Uh, we also took a look the other day at the new Hades Canyon, which replaces the Skull Canyon in Intel's lineup. Skull Canyon was the first gaming-centric device, although it can also just be used if you uh, have higher performance uh, graphics needs and don't necessarily want a game. That uh, came out in 2017. In 2018, we're getting a sort of thicker model, and the reason it's a little bit bigger is you need a little bit more space for cooling because it's got a significantly more powerful processor and graphics processor. It uh, has the uh, Cavi Lake G series, which is with uh, discrete class AMD graphics on the same package. Comes in either 65 watt or 100 watt versions. And what I couldn't show you the other day is what it looks like when you take it apart. And maybe you can help me out here. Once you open it up, you can see that uh, there's plenty of uh, options to upgrade the memory, sorry, memory, the storage. Uh, the processor is going to be hanging out down here and uh, that's sort of what it looks like on the inside. It does have cooling. You're not going to get a fanless design with this kind of power. So we've actually got dual fans here that uh, help uh, keep the system cool. And if you take a look around the back, you have poor lighting <laughs> and uh, there we go. And uh, dual ethernet, uh, multiple USB ports, multiple display ports. It can handle up to six external displays at once. Um, so you get a lot more power in this device that is larger than any of the other Nook computers, but still really pretty small for a gaming uh, capable desktop. And um, uh, I'm told that it's uh, capable of handling VR with no real problems. It's not the highest performance gaming desktop you're gonna find, but it is one of the smallest, relatively high performance gaming desktops that you're likely to find. Finally, um, the last little computer that uh, Intel is showing off here is one that we did again see last year. It's called the Compute Card. And this is sort of taking the kind of technology that was in the previous generation Compute Sticks and putting it into a modular form factor. So what it's sitting on top of here is actually a dock. You slide it in there, and now it's sort of like you have a desktop computer, but then you pop it out when you're done. Yeah, assuming. Pop it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so now I've stuck it in there. But basically we've got a little desktop computer here and then if you pop that out when it's powered up and you're able to pop it out, you can take it with you and use it in a different workstation. You can use it at home, you can use it at work, you can uh, take it on the go and multiple people can use the same uh, machine. The memory, the storage, everything's on this little credit card size computer. There are versions available with up to a Core i5 7th generation Y series 6 watt processor. 
uh, or down to a Apollo Lake processor. So you've got Celeron and Pentium low power chips as well. That's what's currently available. There's going to be updates coming later this year with uh, Gemini Lake and uh, right now, there isn't a 8th uh, generation core processor announced that's compatible, but it's not too uh, too hard to predict that that's going to be happening sometime in the not-too-distant future as well. Now, this is sort of a, a, an unusual example, because if you wanted this sort of system, it sort of makes sense in being able to use the same card at work, at home, and so forth. But basically, what you've got is a little desktop, and in that case, you might as well get one of the others. The idea, though, is that you could have smart displays, that you could have refrigerators, you could have TVs, you could have all sorts of other things that are powered by this sort of module, and then instead of replacing the whole display in a couple of years when you need something more powerful, you just swap out the card for a new card. You spend a couple hundred dollars or, or you know, whatever the price point is going to be. That's something that you can't do yet because uh, you can't really buy a lot of products in that category. Uh, some of the first sort of uh, commercial devices started to come out, I think, in, uh, in or be announced in late 2017. We'll probably start to see more in 2018. The form factor was introduced uh, at CES about a year ago, and at this CES, uh, it's all about trying to expand the ecosystem, get more partners to come on board so that Intel can, uh, can sell these uh, little compute cards. And I guess the next uh, couple of years, it'll be the make it or break it and see if this form factor really takes off. As for the Compute Stick, which has not been updated in a couple of years, uh, you can still buy one, and the idea is to continue selling them throughout the end of the year, um, at least, but uh, not making any commitments beyond 2018, but who knows? If people are still buying them, I suspect Intel might continue selling them, uh, as long as the chipset is supported. So that's with uh, the Core M3 uh, and Core, uh, I think, up to a i5 Skylake processors, the little compute sticks that are uh, little sticks that you just plug into the HDMI port of your computer, uh, of a TV or display or anything to get sort of an all-in-one desktop type experience. So that's a look at the mini PC lineup that Intel is showing off at the Consumer Electronics Show 2018. This is Brad Linder with Little Computing.